In this video, we'll be learning how to use the mask tool in Photo Mirage. The mask tool is a pretty natural companion to anchor points. It's just another way to keep parts of your image still. So the first thing I need to do is select the mask tool. So I'm gonna come up here, click the mask icon. And as you can see, I have my beautiful picture of a photographer taking a picture of a landscape. And I want to add some animation to the clouds, but nothing else. So then using my mask tool, I'm just going to click and drag across the image right over the tops of the mountain to start to divide that part of the photo from everything else. And as you can see, I'm being a little bit generous with my mask going up a little bit into the sky. And I'm not even gonna worry about the photographer's head right now because that area is a little bit too detailed to get at when the brush is this big. And now I need to fill in everything below that line. So I'm gonna come over here to my brush size and just slide that all the way up to the top to 500. Larger brush size just makes it a lot easier to fill in these large areas more quickly. Then for smaller areas, like the man's head, can come up and change to a smaller brush size. I'll just type it in here. That's another way to change the size. Now I'm down at 20. I'll come over to our zoom slider and just click and drag that up to get in real close to his head. And then I'll start to mask out the edges of his head in a little bit more detail and fill in the rest underneath. If you mess up like I just did by bringing the mask out into the sky, that's no problem. Just come back over to the left and click on the remove from mask icon. Looks like a minus sign. And that will allow you to use the same brush tool to actually remove the mask from the photo. So I'll take that right out. If you mess up again and remove too much of the mask, you just switch back over to add to mask and then fill it back in. So that's looking pretty good. We'll zoom back out. Now, one other thing that you can change about your brush is actually the shape. You can work with a circular brush like I've been doing this whole time. Looks like that. Or you can work with a square brush. A little bit different. You can also adjust the hardness of your masked edges by using the slider down here to change the feather of the brush. So I'll show you what that looks like. We'll turn the feather all the way up to 100. As you can see, it barely looks like a square at all. And then we'll do the opposite. We'll take it all the way off down to zero. And now it's got very, very sharp edges. So as you can see, the more feather you apply, the softer your edges are. Now I'm gonna use remove from mask to just quickly erase those examples from the sky. And now all that's left to do is go over to animation tools and just add some motion arrows into the clouds. And once I'm done with that, I'll click play to preview my animation. And that's close, but obviously I've got a little bit of pulling on the photographer it looks like I didn't quite fill in the mask on the back of his head, but that's no problem. As I said earlier, the mask tool is a natural companion to anchor points. So I'm already in my animation tools. I'm just gonna switch over to anchor points here, and I'm just gonna drop a few anchor points around the edge of his head. I'll come back down and click play again. And that's much better. Now there's a very clear separation between the moving clouds and the photographer's head. And that's pretty much it for the mask tool. Now that you know how it works, you can choose to use it in place of anchor points to isolate parts of your image. Or as we just saw, it also works really well as a companion to anchor points, but it really just comes down to personal preference. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and don't forget to check out the rest of our tutorial videos, which can be found on the welcome menu.